creating the center of gravity. In this video, we're going to go ahead and create a control that will allow us to access the root joint. We're going to start by going into the front view, holding down X, create a C shape, and then enter when done. Go back to your perspective view. Let's snap the character center, grab the C shape, and holding down the letter V, we're gonna snap to the root joint. Let's center pivot first. Hold down V. Let's go ahead and freeze transformations. Press F8. Move it back slightly, bring the character back. Press F8 when done. And now we can call this anim underscore COG for center of gravity 01. Let's go ahead and color code this. Control A, object display, drawing overrides, enable overrides. There we go. Now we're gonna select the back, the pelvis, and the center of gravity. Press P so that they are parented. Now grab the chest control and we'll want to parent that one to the back control. Press P. Now if we test it, you would see that the chest will follow the back. So manually we just created an FK uh, dynamic here where we move one area and the other one follows. All right, after testing it, make sure to zero everything out. Go ahead and grab the center of gravity. Shift select the root joint. And let's go into constraint and let's create parent constraint. Open up the option box, reset the settings and click add. Go ahead and test it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean up the channels. Select your center of gravity and let's remove scale and visibility. Lock and high selected. And now we're gonna select the chest, the back, and the pelvis controls. And we're gonna remove translation, scale, and visibility. On the next video, we're gonna create controls for the neck and head.